Hi guys, here is Ayla again and in this video we will go over the difference between member loads and line loads. Um, we can find here in the toolbar two almost identical symbols, one for member loads, the other one for line loads. And to start off with the member loads, in our first model you can see a state structure only consisting member elements. So, as the name already indicates, member loads can be forces, moments or temperature actions that act only on members. Meaning, we can apply member loads on every single member here. To apply a new load, we hit the new member load button, then a new dialog box pops up. As load type we choose force, our load direction is related to the true member length and after entering the load parameter we choose those members where we want to apply a new load. By changing the load direction we can also apply member loads on the columns down here. Line loads instead are idealized loads and can only be applied to lines which are part of a surface. To show you this, our second model, and here you can see a floor slab, so we have a surface. Choosing new line load, we can apply now on all lines which are part of this surface loads. A typical application in reality would be, for example, horizontal wind loads. For this, we choose first a new load case, then once again new line load. Here we have to change the load direction to the global y direction as we have horizontal loads. Enter a load parameter for the first side and select the lines. Likewise, on the other side, hit the new line load button, enter the load parameter, and then we select the lines on this side. Thank you for watching, and if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.